Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show you the solution for the February 2016 Grade 7A Contest Question 17, which also came up in the Grade 9, 10, and 11, 12 contests. So the question is, this question is about mathematically correct conclusions, not whether parts of the following statements are true on their own or not. Which of the following conclusions was not performed correctly? <clears throat> Option A. 21 is a factor of 84, and 3 is a factor of 21. Therefore, 3 must be a factor of 84. Okay, well, we know that 21 is a multiple of 3, and we know that 84 is a multiple of 21. Now, we know that for each of those four terms of 21 that go into 84, there is a factor of 3 in each and every one of those four terms of 21 which means that 3 must be a factor of 84. Okay, so A is true. Alright, so let's look at option B. 19 is a prime number. Because 5 is not equal to 1 and not equal to 19, 5 cannot be a factor of 19. Well, we know that all, any prime number can only be divided by itself and 1. And here it clearly states 5 is not equal to 1, and it is not equal to the number which itself, which is 19, which means that it cannot be a factor of 19. Well, this must be true. So option B is also true. Okay. Now, option C, although we know that 5 times 8 is equal to 40, and 40 is divisible by 4, this alone is not enough to conclude that 8 is divisible by 4. Alright, well, I will give an example that shows that the product, if a product is divisible by a number, like here 40 is divisible by 4, then it does not mean that one of the two factors of the product must also be divisible by this number, like for example 4. So I will use the numbers 10 and 2, so 10 times 2, which is equal to 20. And we know that 20 is divisible by 4. Okay. So we know that this product 20 is divisible by 4, but we know that 4 is not a factor of 2, and 4 is not a factor of 10. And since in the statement it says this alone is not enough to conclude, well it's true, it is not enough to conclude. Therefore, option C must also be true. Okay, now option D. Because 4 and 9 have no common factors other than 1, the smallest common multiple of 4 and 9 must be 4 times 9 equal to 36. Okay, well, if we have two numbers, so like for example 4 and 9 that have no common factors, well, then the prime, none of the prime factors of the first number are a prime factor of the second number. And this means that any multiple of the two numbers, like for example 4 and 9, this multiple must include all prime factors of the first number and all prime, num uh, prime factors of the second number, which means that it would just be, for these two numbers that have no common factors, it would just be their product. So 4 times 9. Now, more generally, we will write that for any positive integers a and b, their product a times b, their product is equal to the product of their greatest common divisor, which in our example, our case, was 1, which is multiplied then to the lowest common multiple of, again, a and b. Alright, so now I will just sub in the numbers 9 and 4. So we have 4 times 9, which is 36, equals to, and we know from the question 
that they have no common factors other than 1, so their greatest common divisor is 1. So it's 36 is equal to 1 times their LCM, lowest common multiple, which must also be 36. And again, we know from the question it says 36. So we know that option D is true. Okay, and now finally, option E. We know that 2 is not a factor of 5, and 2 is not a factor of 7. Therefore, 2 cannot be a factor of 5 times 7 is 35. Well, we can just use the exact same example as we had for C. So we will have the numbers 10 and 2 and 4. Since we know that 4 is not a factor of 2, and 4 is not a factor of 10, but 4 is a factor of the product of 2 and 10, since 2 times 10 is 20, and we know that 20 is divisible by 4. So, therefore, this statement, since it says cannot be a factor, this statement is false, and therefore this option E is the correct option. So the answer is E. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at caributests.com.